to give us any chance of survival we need to build a bunch of automatons because we are playing the arcs and we've got a few things we need to deal with first of all we've got the seedling arcs we need to preserve the seedlings if these freeze over by temperature falling below chili for too long it's game over also we've only got 45 engineers and one automaton there is one worker out in the frostland and that is it so this is why we need a bunch of automatons and finally we have to save another city new manchester they are having a dire time out there and they appear later on in the scenario so those are the three things we've got to deal with on this and uh, it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting so i think the first thing we need to do is just get the basics set up and go out and find the factory plans as the uh, objective says so let's get some resource gathering posts down i'm going to cover these up here for steel and wood and these ones over here for wood and coal and also we will get the automaton that we've got already working on the wood crates up here i do want to get workshops down as well because i want to get that beacon built and get out on the frostland as quickly as we can i think that's going to be the way to deal with that because we don't have enough workers to do pretty much anything there's going to be like a like a very hard limit on what we can do to start with so exploring the frostland getting out there quick and getting all the resources is going to be very very helpful cool so that's a pretty good setup to start we've got two workshops and two gathering posts i am going to do housing next just to make sure everyone's got a tent overnight uh, but first let's get people in here so the first thing we're going to do is the beacon We've got enough wood for that luckily and hopefully we can get that researched fairly quickly let's get some housing down so we've only got tents will we be going for bunk houses i think we might do i think we might do depending on how the how the scenario pans out but i think we will be able to do it also i should probably sign a law i'll do emergency shift to start with and i'll put it on this one we'll only use that once because after that people will die and we don't want that can we get the beacon built no we've got 20 wood uh, to build the beacon there we go because we've got the 24 hour shift on we've got wood coming in overnight which is absolutely fantastic i'll put that over there out the way uh, because it doesn't need to be heated saying that this seedling arc does but it's fine out there for now and well we need to we need to get people sent out asap uh, but first we'll do faster gathering once we get to the 10 wood there we go so yeah we need 40 wood to get people actually sent out have we got enough housing actually we've got one two three four five yeah five house uh five tents sorry for 45 people we'll turn the generator on as well just because the automaton does need to use the generator to refuel and we want that working as much as we can it's telling me the generator is off but it's, it's it's clearly on so don't just don't worry about it cool beacon has been built and we now don't need to go just follow these objectives here to find the factory plans like i said we want to do that as soon as we can and of course it wouldn't be frostpunk without a storm on the horizon so we're gonna have to deal with that later as well um, it gets very interesting this with new manchester because they need a lot of resources <laughs> so we need to get automatons set up in the city fairly quickly i want to have at least 12 so they're going to be walking all over the place but they do cause issues with uh like injuring people and well basically they, they step on people and amputate their limbs which is not great so we should probably deal with that when that arrives so yeah we'll be going through like the normal laws that i do if you've, ever, if you've seen some of my other videos i normally go for like some of the bad laws because they're just they just they make the game like easier <laughs> so that's what we go for so we did faster gathering i am going to do the next level uh, which is drawing boards for the next thing because i want to get more scouts and faster scout sleds like i said i want to be exploring that frostland as quick as we can and while we're at it we do a new law extended shift everywhere it gets an extended shift uh, except for that because that's on 24 hour shift <laughs> when that goes off 24 hour shift though 
straight back on. Straight back on extended shift. No rest for the wicked over there. Uh, the automaton can't refuel, so let's turn the generator back on. We could have an issue with coal on this scenario. Uh, because we're going to have to use the... Well, we can use coal thumpers, but they take so much manpower to get working. I feel like we're going to have to go coal mine instead, but obviously the first coal mine is not very good at all. Uh, we've got 10 people doing nothing. We should probably do a medical post. forgot about that. I'm going to put that up that side there. Actually, no, I'm not going to put it. I'll put it there. Let's get rid of that one. And I need to get a cookhouse down as well. I'll put that there just so it's in the heat zone. It's taking, a lot, taking up a lot of space there, but I don't mind that. It's fine. Cool. So let's get five engineers in there. Get that one sick person sorted out. And these have reached the abandoned suppliers. We'll take those. Thank you very much. And we're on to the broken automaton. So we'll fix that one up and send it back when we get to it. Oh, this has been depleted. So we'll get the automaton back on that one. I'm going to be saying automaton a lot this uh, this playthrough. So hopefully I'm saying it right. I think I am. Uh, drawing boards sorted. Let's get more scouts. And it's day three. So day three is where people start to get hungry. We'll get five engineers in the cookhouse for now. Just to convert that raw food into food rations. Once that's done, I'll take I'll take some out. Uh, next law, what do we want to do? Corpse disposal, I think. Because then we can go for overcrowd. No, overcrowding's a different one. <laughs> we won't go for that just yet. I'll put the snow pit just around the back here. That should be out of heat zones. I'm just going to heat this area here. Uh, but yeah, after course disposal, we'll go organ transplants. That's what we need to do. Sorry. I, I got confused. <laughs> so... Uh, more scouts research absolutely fantastic and i think well let's let's have a think about this we don't need heating just yet we'll have to think about it in a couple of days but i think we'll do let's do hot house just so we've got it unlocked uh, because we do need like raw food coming in so let's get that down to one we'll put it on extended shift and this gathering post actually we'll put it on extended shift but i forgot to do that I think maybe the next good thing to do would be steel works. We don't have steel coming in now because the two uh, the two resource piles for steel have been depleted. Saying that we can actually send out more scouts if we have five people. So let's get one out of there and we'll send these on their way to Icefall Mine. Icefall Mine does not sound like a good place to go. Not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. This is nearly this is nearly done, so we can move. Or we can think about moving these engineers over to. Maybe we do a resource post for these coal here, or even better, we get more workshops underway. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I wish I could fit that in there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to delete this path here. Get that workshop in there. And then let's reconnect. We'll reconnect this path. Up like that. Cool. Very unnecessary, but... I like having my workshops all together. I don't know why. There is literally no benefit to having them next to each other. But that's literally what I do, so... Extended shift goes on there. It would have been much better to put them over here, to be fair, because then we could have heated both of these. Um, heated the seedling arc and the workshops together. But by the by, don't worry about it. Hot house. Let's get that down. And we'll send this automaton here back to the city. And we'll keep on to the lost dreadnought. And I think the factory plans are there. Gathering post has been depleted. That's all good. Let's get that wood back there. It's only two wood, but can be very helpful. And yeah, those uh, those engineers from there, I think I'm just going to put into these two workshops. Probably going to be 
the best thing to do and well I didn't, we need to get more coal coming in steam cores so yeah we just used the first steam core on the hot house that's fine and this is another reason why you need to be exploring that frost land because the only way you're going to get steam cores is by finding them on the frost land so the quicker you get out there exploring the better just realize i haven't been researching anything uh that's not ideal but we'll deal with it right now so let's get still worked on that's still being built that path there and yeah we'll get still works uh, still works up and running as quick as we can i need to put that on extended shift as well top tier law And we've got hungry people, but we also have 173 food, so we don't worry. Don't worry about that. Everyone's getting fed, which is good. But the temperature is dropping now. So will this... Okay, I was thinking maybe this is where we need to worry about the seedling arts, but it's the next temperature drop that's going to be causing us issues. So we need to remember to do the heater before that. In terms of law, like I said, organ transplants get that 20% efficiency boost on the medical post. And I want that, I need that automaton coming in because that's going to go straight onto the hothouse. So there we go, minus 30. People are going to start getting more ill. But I think we can deal with that. It's not, not an issue. So factory plans, we found them. Let's bring them back to the city. And hope rises. So we now need to, yeah, bring the factory plans back to the city, build a factory, and increase the number of automatons to three. So we've got one. One is on its way. So we need to build another one. And that takes coal, steel, and wood. So perfect timing for the steelworks to be built. Let's get that in and a path over there. Absolutely fantastic. And I think what I will do here is get the next level up so that's drafting machines and we'll do uh, lighter scout sleds so these guys have reached icefall mine not as bad as i thought it would be there but we'll go to industrial ruins next and then bring those guys back and that will give us a nice little boost into like our resources so the second lot of wood crates has been depleted up here with the automaton so we'll, we'll get them on the coal pile and we should start to see our coals increase now. I'm surprised we haven't run out of coal <laughs> because we've only got one coal pile being being uh, gathered. But that's all good. We've got the drafting machines done, so let's get lighter scout sleds. And I think, yeah, I think we need need to just start stockpiling some steel now. Cool. So the seedling art might freeze. The next temperature drop will drop them below chili and then we have a set amount of time to get them back up to temperature so we'll use heaters we'll use heaters for that to begin with but then we're gonna have to sort some other stuff out as it gets colder cool. so i should probably get some engineers in there right let's get let's get them out of here and put them in there because i do need that do need that steel coming in for the automaton we're going to build saying that we just got a bunch of steel from from that so yeah factory let's get that built i'm going to do that over here just so we can start heating like i'm trying to build in zones really so this is not to be fair i'm going to move i'm going to move this one it's not working at the moment because it's not got any engineers in but i'm going to move that over here so we can heat this zone we can heat this zone maybe heat this zone up here and then if we need to heat this zone as well so it's all about efficiency the automaton is nearly with us these guys unfortunately need to go back out we need to go find those steam cores for us still got a lot of food i don't know how comes we got that much food we haven't been using the hothouse yet but i guess it's because we've got so little are like workforce they're not eating as much food as like normal like the normal scenarios so that's probably why 
The automaton has reached it, so we're gonna just stockpile food here. So let's get the pot house going. Saying that, should I do that there or should I? You know what? I'm gonna do it on on here instead, just so that's working 24/7. And then I'll put the engineers in the hot house. I think that's probably gonna be better because, like I said, we've got a lot of food and we don't need that much food coming in for now anyway. Also, coal pile has been depleted over here. That's fine. I do need to find some more engineers. So let's get those out of there and put them in the factory. Let's get one automaton built. Hopefully we can get that built today. I don't know how long it takes, but they've got the full day to do it. So that will be the, the three automatons. Like I said, I want at least 12 automatons. That's going to be like the sweet spot because we do have to start sending them over to New Manchester when they need house uh, then when they need help they need more than house housing I tell you they need like food coal steel they need everything it's crazy so we'll do wall drill next because we are running out of like wood I mean in so that would be good and I feel like yeah, I feel like having that still coming in from the automaton is going to be really good. Cool. So, Automatus, Automatus City. I can't even say it, but I don't don't worry about it. You know what I mean. <laughs> we need to employ at least two automatons in coal, one in steel, one in wood, and one in raw food. So, we'll, we'll get two more automatons built, and we should be able to do that. Fundamental research. So, this guy is asking to improve performance of the automatons we'll let them do that it's very useful so that'll be good take these resources and then these guys can come back to the city absolutely fantastic so i do need to do the heater which we'll do next hopefully hopefully i can get that working or done before it becomes an issue got one automaton doing nothing was that one built it was yes it was cool what do we want it to do i'm wondering do we put it on the wall drill no let's put it on the the hothouse for now the engineers in that research workshop and the wall drill our ah, perfect timing we'll build that over here let's get the heaters done hopefully we can uh, it's not going to be done today but that's fine but it shouldn't cause an issue but yeah let's get this let's get the wall drill up and running because we are going to need like a lot of wood coming in for the automatons we're building and just as i said it <laughs> we've we've run out of the last wood pile on our on our map so there are trees down here but we need sawmills for that and i don't i don't really i don't really use sawmills i feel like i should it would be like a lot it would make things a lot easier but i never do it let's do fighting arena and then we'll do pub i think that will be a good thing to do we, we will build this fighting arena can we cover everything we can we put it there that covers all of the houses that will lower discontent very nicely Oh, I was going to put a workshop there, wasn't I? Oh well, don't worry about it. I'll, I can I can put the workshop somewhere else, so that's all good. Okay, these guys are waiting. We'll send them over to Snow June. I, I really don't know what's out here, to be fair. I just send them over wherever they want to go. Or wherever they need to go. They don't want to go out there, clearly. Uh, but we'll get these guys back. Um, for now. And yeah, I'll, I'll just put another... Um, another factory? No, it's not a factory. It's a <laughs> it's a workshop. Okay, I'm literally going crazy. This is what happens when I play Frostpunk. When I'm trying to record videos and, and play at the same time, my mind just wanders so much, and I just don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Cool, that's all good. So we have got actually like another eight people doing nothing. So should probably get them to work. We got an automaton no we haven't so what i'll do i think i'll take the automaton off the hothouse 
put the eight people in there and then put the automaton on the wall drill and that will give us uh, that will give us some good stuff coming in saying that we have got full steel so i'll take them off of there for now and uh, i'll put that on i'll put that on the raw food <laughs> i was no saying that we we need to build build these don't we so we need three more let's go for three so they take one steam core 50 coal 100 wooden 100 steel so yeah we yeah we need that wood coming in that should start in a second once the automaton has refueled and gone over there and the seedling arcs are now starting to freeze because it's now minus 40 this is below chili it's now cold and just right on time we've got heaters research so let's put those on i'm not going to worry about like trying to maximize coal usage like what we could do is let these timers run all the way to the bottom and then put the heaters on to save like a day's worth of coal on them i think but i can't and honestly i'll forget and i can't can't be bothered <laughs> so i'd rather not forget um and use a little bit of coal saying that we'll get coal mining started because we are going to need two of those and we've got another automaton just uh freed up because that coal pile up there was depleted so i'll move them over to this one for now and well we need another one on here but that's fine because we've, we're going to be building them aren't we let's explore here there's nothing to do but i do need to research something yeah so coal mining i am going to do lighter scout sleds as well that's going to be very helpful the coal uh the, sorry the wood is not coming in very fast i was hoping it was going to come in faster okay so we've got the automaton project on going so we now give him give him an automaton we'll just check to see which one stopped working which it looks like this wall drill one did not ideal so we'll take the one off the hothouse we'll put the engineers in there and then swap that out for that because we do need wood what's the next thing to do exploration oh no hang on we've already got lighter scout sets why can't why can i remember it's so strange ah we could do resource depot upgrade or steam still works i don't think we need steam still works just yet hothouse insulation that could be good medical post upgrade we'll go medical post upgrade i mean we're very on top of this aren't we no one is getting sick that's that's all good for me i just would like a lot more wood coming in so maybe think about doing the steel uh, the steam wall drill that that was well quick <laughs> that was very very quick so steam wall drill is the next one uh, we could do sawmill i guess like i said i don't really use that but we, it could prove useful but then we need people to do it don't we let's do resource uh no let's not do that because we haven't got enough wood but we will now resource depot upgrade maybe not the best thing to do but we are gonna have to start stockpiling fairly soon if we have that now that would be good oh we'll send these guys off to the next place and temperature should be going up in the morning which is always nice so we're looking good at the moment we've got the one automaton doing nothing the mark ii highlander absolutely doing nothing just because he's in the project i would assume so when that's done the automaton should get more efficient and it warms up to a nice toasty minus 30 absolutely fantastic so we've got another automaton i'm gonna put that on steel because we do need more steel coming in and that has been researched absolutely amazing thinking let's see what's going on so we've got like another like one two three four days three four days before we have 
actually no we've got loads of time loads of time before like we have to think about more heating so we can get rid of those heaters for now they should be fine so yeah let's have a look i feel like maybe coal mining rationalization will be a good one and we should probably build the coal mines we don't have enough wood okay i need to i need to just do this all right so i uh, know but no <laughs> we need a source of wood that is better than this wall drill that's essentially what we need so i don't know i don't know how we'll do it like sawmill will be good but we need people in it and i've just got a lot of people researching stuff at the moment haven't i could take him out there we'll do pub as well Listen, the pub is a, a good thing to have and the search for steam cores sweet so we've got another another thing to do here so we're gonna need to hit these two things we'll get out there as soon as we can with our scouts uh, and we'll give this guy a steam core so this will increase the efficiency of the automatons by five percent and that is worth it i think it does cost a steam core but it's all good and another automaton is ready in fact we've got two now to use so we'll put one on that coal pile and we'll put one on the hothouse and then we will send the scouts out because we've got enough wood now send them over the south pass so we'll go up this way first because the storm is coming from this way if we leave it too long the storm will come in and freeze these areas and the steam cores will be lost forever up there so we'll get up there as soon as we can get things moving i think i can probably do with a saw sawmill now right let's explore there nothing to do there saying that they've got 205 wood on them so i think these two here are the last ones so if we explore those and they come back then we may have no need for a sawmill so we could probably start doing other things i think that's you know what i think that's probably going to be the way to go so let's do we'll do some of these first so the installations that's going to be really helpful in the future and like we've got 19 days to do this autonomous autonomous city and uh, we've got a couple of other things as well you know what let's get one of those off there our coal is now getting full saying that i did want to stockpile stuff didn't i so we could start putting these down do two of those i don't know how expensive these resource depots are oh they're 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 quite expensive 40 wood 20 steel but they are like required if you have if you want to have any chance of doing stuff also there's even more wood there yeah, I don't think we need the sawmill. <laughs> we'll wait for these guys to come back because we're kind of in a good position right now. And we've got four we've got four people doing nothing. So let's get him in a workshop. Yeah, I'll do another workshop, get him in there, and we can get things like researched even quicker. I mean we're researching things very, very quickly. What else do we want to do? Moonshine. I am going to do moonshine. Just that lowers discontent a lot. And there's only like really one bad thing that happens with it. And it's not even that bad. So we'll go moonshine. Again, these guys have got more wood. Send them further afield into the windswept, whatever that was. And healthcare insulation has been researched. I'm just going to let this run a little bit just so we can build that last auton oh, hang on did we build enough we've got one more to build i think so we've got enough wood we just wait for steel to come in actually you know what i'm going to do i want to do steam steel works because i feel like steel is going to be very underrated also the project is a huge success absolutely fantastic and the five percent uh so automatons are now five percent cheaper is very good 
And how many have we got? Well, we have got five. Okay, okay. We've got enough to do the next thing. So coal mine. Ah, this is where we need the steel, uh, the steam cores. This is why we need these guys coming back. With three steam cores there. Absolutely fantastic. Could send them to Misty Valley, but I'll send them this way and then well, we'll bring them back first and then send them out because they've got they've got what we need. <laughs> they've got what we need. Okay, yeah, we are gonna need to build these um, these coal mines ASAP. And while we're at it, I feel like the next thing we could actually do is upgrade and start unlocking like the steam wall drill and the steam versions of those mines. We've got here two things doing nothing. Let's put one on that coal pile. Ah, we should probably change these to something else as well. Put them both coal for now. We are going to be doing that. Steam still works. Again, let's just get that down and we could, uh, we could do two. Yeah, let's do two. Let's do two. I don't know if two was a sensible idea, but it's fine. We've got two. We are going to need two later on. So if we get it down now, that's fine. And then we've got one automaton doing, again, doing nothing. But there's nowhere really for it to go. I mean, it can build the buildings. It can build the paths and stuff. So we'll get, yeah, we'll get that on. Let's get that on there. And I think this, yeah, this one's already got one on. So it's all good. Oh, should probably put the heaters back on because it's now getting a bit colder. Back to minus 40. Absolutely fantastic. And these guys are nearly back. Three hours. They're, they're going to arrive at the new place in an hour. Those are the scouts. Here we go. Another three steam cores up there. We'll go to steam lorry. Well, that should have more steam cores. And sweet, we've got those. So steam wall drill, I think, is going to be the next thing to do. And once these, once these come back, I'm going to go coal mining straight away. Oh, what's happened here? Stuck automaton. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so what we'll do? Is shut down the steam still works because we can put that automaton to use somewhere else basically that will stop working for 24 hours cool. these guys came back send them out to misty valley and we've got now a ton of wood so this is why we this is why i didn't do this the steel work uh the sawmill let's get the coal mine down so we've got two spaces for those over here Let's get those built and connected up by a path if I can do it properly there we go and is this nearly depleted yeah it's nearly depleted so we've, we've timed that like perfectly I'm not gonna lie I've timed it perfectly all right let's build the steam pool drill so we are gonna have to do yeah we have to we're gonna have to do more automatons like I said, we need 12. I feel like we need 12, maybe even like 15. We've only got five at the moment, so it's gonna be a bit crazy. I'm gonna think about heating again. So let's do steam hub. Because yeah, we're gonna start seeing temperature drop in a couple of days, three days, I think. Yeah, it drops to two levels, so we definitely need, I feel like we need, um, what, what do we need? Oh. I tell you what we need we need more space for food so let's change one of those to food rations and we, we yeah we'll start stockpiling that food nicely realize that's not on extended shift neither is that one what, what am i playing at but we can do a new law so radical uh, we haven't need we haven't had any like need for radical treatment at the moment however i am going to do it because we do need prosthetics overcrowding as well will be helpful but we don't we haven't really seen any issues with with the healthcare yet because everywhere is 
kind of warm. Cool. We've explored fully up there. The storm, like you see, is getting close. It's getting close to that. So it's good that we've got that out of the way. Got that researched. Oh, I do need to open the pub. First of all, let's get that automaton on there. And the other one, I'll take off the steel for now. And I should go and build this one. As it gets warmer. Very cool. Uh, very cool and very warm. <laughs> I mean, it's both at the same time. Cool. So, automaton on there. We've got the autom autonomous city. Hope rises. We're doing such a good job. But now, oh, we need to prepare, prepare for the storm. So we do need houses. So build five houses, disband all expeditions, 8,000 coal and 500 food rations and open the pub. Right, first of all, we're going to open the pub. That's the, that's the main thing. This is what the people want. Where can I fit it in? Let's, let's put it there. I feel like maybe like a good place for it next to the hot house. We've got this here. So maybe a good thing we would do bunk house and then house just get the houses down as soon as we can right that'd be a good good idea we can turn these heaters off for now it's now uh oh where's where's the where's the last one one two th there it is we would already done that one um but yeah now it's minus thirty. we can we can do that so that's no problem but it is we want to get a lot colder so we're going to go down to minus 14 and minus 60 and minus 60 is maybe we're going to have a little bit of trouble so i'm thinking we do generate a power upgrade as well just so we're ahead of ahead of the curve here bunk house i'm not going to do bunk house just yet because i'm going to do another uh, we don't have any steam cores So we don't we don't actually need engineers in there. Let's put them in, let's put them in the workshop. Again, I'm just gonna put another workshop down. Because they might those engineers might as well do something useful. If they're not building a building an automaton, they might as well just like do something productive. The so public house has been built. I'm gonna put one engineer in there just for now. Just so it, we complete that. Let's get the others in there extended shift on that and another law will do let's do a care house and prosthetics we'll get that out the way hopefully no one has to go into the care house but i'll put it over i feel like i'll put it next to there next to the fighting arena <laughs> so so they can look out the window and see people fighting but also it's like in, it's going to be in a place where we can heat heat everything that's all good and we're just going to drop down to minus 40 now cool, so he's reached empty shelter uh, still more places to go to out here but they're they're doing it quickly i like it they're they're working hard out there Look, wood is full now as well. So I think we should probably do another couple of these. Do three more. And you know what we, we need to do? We need to do more food rations. Okay, let's see what we've got going on here. So we can get those back up to temperature. So they are on chilly. That goes up to level two, but we'll put it back down to level one for now. Because we don't want to be wasting coal. We don't have to. I feel like I'm missing something here. Steam coal mine would be good. Large resource depot. Let's do the let's do the steam coal mine. I feel like that's gonna be helpful. Need to stockpile this wood as well. And stockpile the um, stockpile the, the coal actually 8,000 coal oh god figure in the distance right this is the worker that I mentioned at the start of the game that that comes here to tell us about this new Manchester 
that we got to go save and we are going to go and save them <laughs> i hope we can do it though because they they need an absurd amount of resources and this guy is just saying thank you like thank thank you for making your automatons much better we are powering through this um i'm going to do a large resource depot and that's just going to be for coal exclusively for coal i think it's probably going to be the best thing to do oh no we've got an amputee okay this is probably perfect timing to have the care house done and prosthetics signed and we will do we need to actually build prosthetics i don't know serious accident okay this is where the amputee came from so the automaton stepped on it we can't afford the efficiency to fall so so they will continue to injure people essentially but efficiency will be up and we like efficiency <laughs> that's what we want Ooh, these guys have reached the supply trailer take those resources i'm hoping lone boulder over here is the last thing because i want to get these guys back yeah, they've got 16 cores they've got three if we can get them back asap it would be very useful i am actually going to build a put like one process it oh no i can't yet i can't large resource depot has been built let's get that down i'll leave these two spare for now actually let's yeah i'll leave them spare for now i was gonna put food rations in them but i don't think that's necessary oh i tell you what would be good because we are gonna need a lot more food industrial hothouse we'll get that built as well what have we got here we've got three engineers doing nothing oh i was gonna put them here wasn't i i was gonna put them in the factory to build prosthetics but i'm not gonna do that now and we've got one yeah one amputee so we can't do anything but we'll get them a prosthetic and then they can go back to work all good now when these <laughs> when these scouts come back it's all going to be hands on deck like we're going to be building you know what we're going to anticipate this i'm going to build another factory oh no i can't i need a steam core okay we're going to be able to build another factory so we can um like mass produce these automatons uh, we need to change that to coal so we can store another 5400 coal i don't know how much capacity we've got let's have a look six so 7650 that's not still not enough i think maybe we'll need another one okay so here is this guy the worker from new manchester i don't know how he's made it over here collapses on the uh, mountain luckily someone saw him up there i don't know how but he's just by saying like new manchester we need we need help the messenger now this could be a little bit sketchy actually he reaches the city and he does come trekking through here where is he I'm trying to have a look for him is that him there no that's not him is that him no that's not him i mean we've got the hot house anyway the guy comes trekking through here and if you don't have a medical bay up here he can die on the way so um hopefully he doesn't die okay so new manchester we can't abandon people in need we are going to go save them that's what we're going to do and we need to go out to expedition camp so these guys are oh, they are the lone boulder that's good nothing to do here ah oh, there's two more that's annoying so hopefully hopefully these are the last two and i'm hoping that snow covered supplies is the last one over there as well do need to get moving on things do house as well to i totally forgot I, I was doing house i'm not gonna lie i said i was gonna do house ages ago didn't i what have we got over here steam still works steam still works one of them we need another automaton that's what we need this is this is why it's so tricky i mean i have got loads of people in here doing um research but i feel like that's necessary uh, we'll do prosthetics for now and let's build one prosthetic yeah as soon as like we get a, an amputee we'll 
we'll build a prosthetic for them. And there we go, house has been built or been researched. And now we're gonna build them. So one, two, three. Oh no, we probably shouldn't have done that overnight. <laughs> this is one of the things I always forget. They need housing overnight, otherwise they get sick. And I don't know what the cutoff point is. I feel like it's 10 o'clock, so maybe people will start getting ill overnight there. Not ideal, but we'll deal with it. They've reached there. Take the resources. Cool. These guys are coming back. 22 hours, and we're going to have a bunch of stuff come in. It's going to be super, super helpful. So we haven't got... Yeah, we haven't got any amputees now. One in palliative care. I think that's in there. Yeah, so they probably got gravely ill or something. Anyway, we've got the worker back. I'm going to put them in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them in there for now in the factory, ready for when this automaton comes. So let's get three. When I say automaton comes back, I mean the steam cores. <laughs> I mean the steam cores coming from, from the scouts. That's what I mean. Do you need to think about doing steam coal mine? Ah, yeah, we know, right. We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. That's good. Got that. I think we're pretty much done on this page, which is good. Streamlined automatons, that could be very helpful. And that as well. You know what? Let's do those. Streamlined automatons and integration as well. That would be very useful. Oh. We need to build these steam hubs. That's what we need. So let's go there. Build one there. Okay, we've run out of steel. That's not ideal. We get steam level two or heat level two going. Can we put a heater on there. We can heater on the hot house. Heater on the pub. Right, this is where our coal usage is going to go up massively. It's not not ideal do you need another steam hub over here and that is going to heat that arc and then we do need one up there as well you know automatons nice and the integration that is going to be 25 still needed cool Let's bring these guys back. We're going to have so much resourcing available to us now. We're going to, we're not going to know what to do with it. Annoyingly, this is out of the heat zone. So I'm actually going to just get rid of that one and move them into a new one. Still can't build a steam, steam hub, but that's fine. We can now, which one was it? It was this one up here, wasn't it? It looks like the worker made it back to uh, made it back to the um, what's it called? You know, <laughs> made it back to the medical bay in time. I think they're in here. Uh, engineers, yeah. Luther Golden, he should be he should be good to go. Be put to work at some point. And this automaton integration. So I'm thinking we may need to do more resource stuff. Scouts have reached the sea. Absolutely fantastic. This is what we love to see it. Uh, so automaton will make three of those. Yeah, let's make three of those there. And then we'll do another factory. I'll put that up here. And I'm going to do, basically I'm going to do another pub as well. I'm just going to... Oh, no, I can only do one pub. Let's demolish that one, then. Once that's demolished, I'll move the pub up here, and that will be in the heat zone. Wood is filling up now, so let's get wood there. And let's do steel in that one, so we can start, again, stockpiling stuff. Looking good. We're looking good. These probably need to be sent out to the expedition camp as well. Let's find New Manchester. And then we can save them. Why is that still cold? Oh, that's not covering. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, let's do that there instead. We'll keep that one up and running for now, but I will I will demolish that one after. 
That's hot, that's hot, that's hot over there. Everything's hot, which is good. But at the same time, temperature goes up. So we could probably put steam level one down one. I think that keeps everything hot. Yes, it does. Amazing. Let's get some more automatons built in that one. I'll take people out of here researching and ah, oh, these guys came back as well. Awesome. Let's disband those ones and put them back in the back <laughs> and put them back in the workshop. Cool. So the worker has been healed up, which is good. So I'm going to build that pub again. I'll put it up here. And then the worker can go and work in the pub. The messenger lives, hope rises. So we've done well there. Got that, got that going. And now things are going to start moving pretty quickly. So automatons are going to be flying out everywhere. And automaton integration has been researched. So things are going to be like stockpiling really quickly, which is what we want. 11 steam cores as well. As for heating, I think we are going to need like, to focus on heating for a little bit now. So let's do efficiency upgrade and then we'll maybe do heating upgrade or sorry, heating efficiency, all of that stuff. Extended shift, I won't, I won't address that right now. We need to keep extended shift on. I'm going to start with overcrowding because we are getting a little bit of like, sickness here, which is not ideal. I could go down the route of infirmary. That might be very useful. There we go. Another automaton is up and running. Absolutely fantastic. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put the automaton on the cookhouse. Then that can work 24-7. Oh, saying that, I do need to get more resource depots down. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm actually going to do another one. So one of them is going to be for raw food and one of them I think is going to be for coal because we need to start sending stuff to New Manchester when they ask for it. Cold homes, I literally never do cold homes. It's impossible to, to keep them warm. That's what I found anyway. Uh, we could do improved heaters. Yeah, we'll do improved heaters and then we'll do the efficiency upgrade on that. And oh, we need to build those steam coal mines, don't we? So we'll get those down. Did I build a steam wall drill? Yes, I did. Cool. That's all good. And then I think the other thing was... Let's see, let's see what we've got. I think that's all fine there. Industrial hothouse. There we go. That'll be useful. And I think we need a couple more um, cookhouses. I think this is going to be very helpful because we're just not converting this raw food fast enough we definitely need like i think we need like 2500 raw food for new manchester which is wild it's like a crazy amount saying that these have just been sitting here for doing nothing uh it's all good though send them to the broken vehicle get automatons on these so that one's being built then we've got another four being built over here ah they should be should be on extended shift probably do with a bit more efficiency on how we're using coal but it's normal mode i'm not worried about it and i it's <laughs> it maybe is a little bit tedious to go around on the, on the video to get everything min maxed so i'm not going to do it Anyway, let's get raw food there. Oh, sorry, food rations there. And then we'll do... We'll, we'll leave this one empty for now. And see if we can... See what to do with it later. Oh, we've got three automatons built in the space of like... Well, I think two. <laughs> two were built in the space of not very long. Infirmary. Let's... You know what? I keep, I keep forgetting. I need to build those houses. <laughs> let's get those done. You know what? Steel is not coming through as quick as I would like either. And these have reached that. An automaton has been built. Take those. Observation tower. 
See, look, this one's frozen over now. I'm wondering if I go here first, damage Snowcat, and then we'll go out to Observation Tower. I don't want that to be... I don't want it to be frozen over by the time we get there. So, Infirmary has been researched. It's probably a good idea to do that. Hothouse insulation will be good as well because you need to keep that hothouse operational. And then, yeah, maybe I will do the upgraded steelworks, the even, like... The even better ones so let's get an infirmary built it's just out it's just out of range there of the heat it's annoying but I, i'll put it up here for now and we'll transfer everyone over to the to the infirmary and that will make things a lot quicker that does take a steam core which is a bit annoying but it's fine we've got 11 automatons i said i wanted 12 didn't i we build in we're not building any there we're building one there let's do two there and we'll do another two there and that is the four steam cores used up saying that we aren't we, we need steam cores to actually build some other stuff don't we so steel is not coming in quick enough and <laughs> and coal is definitely not coming in quick enough can do another law. I'm not going to do another law though, because I think we've got everything we need. Super food additives, I'm going to keep in the back pocket, just if we are having a little bit of an issue with this food stuff. So we'll uh, we'll deal with that later. Cool. They've got 108 steel. That's very useful. Send them to the observation tower. I really need to know how much like stuff they need like new manchester i need to know how much they need that's been researched yeah let's get let's get the well we need to open up the next one that's annoying for that don't worry about it though we'll we'll deal with it when we deal with it industrial hothouse infirmary mechanization that could be a good one to employ five less people yeah we'll do that do that so we'll get those out of there put them in there oh we have actually got medic automatons so we could use those possibly but we won't for now you know what else we could do to increase coal we could do coal thumpers that could be very very helpful long hours of toil no don't worry about it it's fine i think right i think the reason we're using a lot of coal uh, a lot of steel is because we're building so many automatons that is literally the reason we've got 13 now so i think we we will be okay i am going to do coal thumper though so i do coal thumper and steam coal thumper and we're going to work on those uh work on those getting uh, getting more coal in i would like another hot house you know i'm gonna do another hot house as well and that's gonna really increase our food output coal thumper's researched steam coal thumper because we want to get that one going i don't think they take steam cores the coal thumpers no, it's only 15 wood, which is like nothing. So let's do like a row of them here. We'll do three. I think we've got enough automatons now. We've got 14. Let's get one automaton on each of those. And then we are going to need some gathering posts. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Do six of those and get those two automatons on there and then i well i don't know like once we've got enough steel then we don't need to use any anymore and we can take those off there so that's all fine so here we go new manchester we are about to find out <laughs> what we need and if i remember rightly it's an absurd amount of stuff and we've only got 10 days left to do it minus 50 is hit that's fine because it seems like everything is warm which 
which is good to see. The housing is still warm. Okay, I think I think we're good here. I think we're good. That seedling arc is fine. That one is fine. You know what? Oh, we've got two. Oh, we've got two of these steam hubs here, haven't we? Oh, what have I done there? Let's get rid of that one. And I don't think that's going to make any difference. That is just burning coal that we need. Okay, I, th I think I was panicking a little bit about steel. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, and it's just because we were building automatons. That's why we didn't have a lot. As for coal, I'm going to put this one coal as well. Because I feel like we need to stockpile it a bit more. Oh, so we reached New Manchester, a dying city. We will try to help them. Of course we will. We'll do our best to send help. So let's see what that that requires. Aid for New Manchester. So, gather 600 steel, 600 wood, and one automaton. Send an exhibition. An exhibition expedition. There we go. So we've got the 600 wood. 600 steel should be fairly soon and then we've got one no, we haven't got one spare automaton yet but we will do let's see what else we can do here heating might be a good one here yeah, let's do heater efficiency and i don't think we're going to need the generator power upgrade just yet because we've got level two like we're, we're fine on level one with all this heating and stuff so when it drops down we'll put it up to level two and that should be fine in fact let's do level two now just so we're not having any crossover time where anything gets cold these have reached a broken tree carry on go to ruined warehouse first and then swing back to manchester dreadnought i think these are collecting yeah these are collecting up a lot of stuff as well so we've got one seam core 300 wooden 108 steel there which is a decent amount of stuff Oh, that has been done. Let's see what else we can do. Food, food, food. Cookhouse insulation. That will be useful. Because we do need these cookhouses working. Yeah, that's all good. We don't need to do that. Right, these guys. I want to get you out of the factory. Oh, we have got an amputee. Let's get them a prosthetic quickly. And then we'll get those guys out and into the hothouse and we'll start making food or more raw food up there. This is the thing with me. I always put down I always put down stuff and I forget to use it. So cookhouse insulation research. Absolutely fantastic. And do we need that? I don't think we do need that just yet. I'll do overdrive couplings. Yeah, no, we've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. We've got loads of time. Yeah, these have reached the frozen supplies. And we'll take those off to the Manchester Dreadnought. Have they got steel? Yeah, they got 108 steel. So it's a bit funny. They're bringing it all the way back, only to be sent, sent out again. With the with the steel they've just brought back to New Manchester. I do think we need more coal. I, I honestly think we need more coal. So once we've got yeah, once we've got that steel done, I don't think we need any more steel. Like I think that's fine. Also, I need to remember how to send these <laughs> these aid packages out. Overdrive couplings research. Amazing. I'm just trying to think what else what else we can do. Gathering post insulation, we just don't need it. Don't need any of that. We don't need any I don't think we need any of that. Food and health, but I think we've got everything there. I'm not gonna open up the next one because it does take quite a bit of steel to do that. So I think I'll just do generator power upgrade too, just so we've got it in our back pocket for later look at that our wood is filling up as well but that's fine come on let's get to that 600 still there we go 
and we need to now send that out. So how do we do this? I need to remember how to do it. Um, I think it's on, is it on here? Yes, it is. So we need to free up an automaton from somewhere. Obvious choice would be the steel works, right? So let's get those sent out. There we go. First aid package has been sent. It takes a day to get there. I don't think it matters about the, the length of time it gets there. So as long as, as long as you send them out before this happens, I think it's fine. So 2,000 food rations, two automatons. That is why we needed the food. We are getting there with food, which is good. All right, let's get these out of here. Put them back into there. And, ah, oh, these guys have got even more steam cores. Okay, that's very good because we could, we, I feel like we're going to need um, more, like we're going to need more stuff. Essentially. Oh, we need those, we need those steam coal mines. That's what we need, definitely. People oppose you. No, you have to keep at least six automatons working in the city. I mean, I feel like we can do that but uh, we can't let the people down it doesn't matter it's not that much discontent and hope change so that's all good saying so that we need to turn that down a level because we haven't got enough uh, we're running we ran out of space as well here what's this one food rations coal coal i think there's a couple here that's still Yeah, this well i say a couple that's still let's put coal in that one instead because we need to because we need to send out essentially we need to send out coal to new manchester but then also we need eight thousand ourselves which is a lot <laughs> so two things we need, need to do uh, these coal thumpers have run out as well let's get one back on there back on there back on there and just keep keep piling that coal up. Have we got the steam? Oh, we have got the steam coal mines. We have upgraded them. Again, I'm just so forgetful. Just can't remember what I'm doing at all. Bit tragic, isn't it? What's going on over here? Food aid. Yeah, the man from New Manchester will talk about his city. See what we can do. We are sending you two thousand food rations. Ah, there they are. The two food, two thousand food rations are here. We do need to free up two automatons, though. Where do we get them from? Thinking one from. Hmm, yeah, where do we get them from? We'll probably take one off the wall drill. Actually, let's take one off that one. One off the wall drill. I feel like we're. I feel like we've got enough wood. And if not, we can just whack one on for a little while. That's fine. Yeah, let's send that one out. Ooh, that is on its way. Again, another day to go. Or is it two hours? Oh, no. Two, two hours, one day, 20 minutes. The guy's an early back with more, more stuff. So we now need to send 6,000 coal for automatons. Okay, we've got the 6,000 coal. We just need four automatons. Now, do we build one more? I'm thinking we build one more. I'm gonna, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna need to do. Oh, hang on, we've got. Ah, uh, no, we need 500 food rations. Okay, that's fine. Let's get this disbanded first, though, wherever it is, so we can tick off the list. Oh, hang on, where is? Oh, they're a minute away. Oh, there they. Right, they're back. <laughs> they're back now. Okay, I got confused there. I think I just jumped the gun a bit. But yeah, disband in there. And I think, you know what, let's just, let's just send, let's just get these automatons off, off these coal thumpers. How many is that? Three. Take them off the steel works as well, because we've got full, full steel now. That's all good. And we'll get those sent over. Sweet. So we now need to prepare for the storm. That's it. New Manchester has been cared for. Nothing else we can do for them. We just need to now gather 8,000 coal and 500 food rations. 
So food rations is going to be the one that's going to cause us issues. But I, we've got seven. We've got a whole week before that happens. I won't address that right now. People protest. That's that's not that's not good. I will keep sending aid. Literally, we've done we've done it. Like they're too late. <laughs> like we've done it too quickly. I feel like we've done it too quickly to the game. But it's all good. All good. Have I got? Yeah, I've got people in the infirmary. That's sweet. Voice of support. Someone said we're doing the right thing. Of course we are. Of course we are. We've got steam coal thumpers. Very unnecessary, but fine. I'm going to change uh, change that to industrial hothouse, just so we've got more raw food coming in. And final effort. New Manchester secured. We focus on our mission. Cool. So yeah, this is literally the last thing to do. Eight thousand coal, five hundred food rations. Let's let's just let's just do it. I would like to find. Yeah, let's take automaton off that one and put it on the hot house. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. So f raw food, we're getting 207 a day and we're getting 1,440 food rations a day. So we should, we've, we've got this covered. We've got this covered easy. If you need anyone to take charge, you'll see. Just, just give me a call and I'll sort your right out. <laughs> I feel like we've, I feel like we've done so well here. This is actually epic. Absolutely love it. Supplies are ready. We have completed it. The autonomous city has been completed. It was fun. It was interesting. It was good. I very much enjoyed that because not a lot went wrong. <laughs> so no deaths. New Manchester cared for. We did our best. We did better than I best. We literally did everything you could ask for so so good absolutely love it so i'll leave you with the time lapse as always stay safe have fun i'll see you on the next one